much and in this video I will show you how to use Kyle Microvision 4 to program LPC 1768. In the end of this video I will show you how to program LPC 1768 using Colinkx ARM JTAG programmer and debugger. So let's begin. So just open Kyle Microvision 4 and as you can see your default workplace uh, will be there now. So to create a new project go to project new Microvision project and then go to desktop and just create a new folder for new project and give it the name which is blinky in this case and give it the name for project itself blinky again and hit on save then you have to choose your processor and that is 176 set lpc and hit on OK and then it will ask you to add startup file and hit on yes and now as you can see here uh, the startup file has been added into your project so uh, now the next step is to add some uh, include files and uh, then we will write a code some housekeeping stuff so we have to add some header files as I already have told you so just go to this uh, include files folder and don't worry you will get this uh, files this folder into the youtube description page that you can download this and paste into your project directory and then close it and go to microvision 4 and now you have to add this uh, files edit files into your project directory so go to uh, manage project items and hit on add files and to select all files and just choose your files that you want to add it to the project you done ok and now as you can see your files has been added here so next thing you have to do is you have to add the main files so just hit on a new file here and in this video I'm not going to write uh, all the code so I just copy and paste it so just copy the blinking LED exam example and then paste it here in the workplace and now I have to do is I have to save this file into our project directory and that is the main.c and hit on save as you can see syntax highlight is on now and but one thing that is left we haven't added this uh, main.c file to our project directory so go go ahead and do that first so go to add files and choose your main.c hit on add and close it again and hit on ok and now as you can see you have main.c file here so the next step is to compile your project so let's do that so compile you have this little button here and that says uh, for build option and as you can see now you have zero error and one warning let's remove this warning so let's uh, disable this return zero and build again and now as you can see you have zero error and zero warning the next step is to configure cooling x arm jtag programmer and debugger so we will do that so to configure a uh, arm jtag programmer and debugger you have to go to this uh, little icon here and that says options for project and target one so um, let's go to this um, debug and hit on use and just choose your Kukox debugger and go to setting again and you have to choose here a system request and that's it hit on ok and that's it for this and you will need to go to utility again I don't know why it takes time for utility so in this utility you would get this um, and default things but you just have to you know disable this and now you can see you have update target before debugging is the only thing that is uh, checked and here in this drop down menu you have to choose Kukox debugger and hit on setting again and then um, this is Kukox target driver setup and we have to add the memory so hit on add and in the add you will see your chosen uh, microcontroller LPC 176Z it's perhaps here LPC 17XX IAP and 512 KB flash and choose that and hit on OK and uh, as you have chosen this file uh, on chip flash memory just hit on 
OK and that's it. You have done everything that you need to do. And just hit on OK. And actually there is one setting which I forgot to show you in the uh, in the options for target Blinky. You just have to go to output and you have to click on create hex file because this is the hex file that we will be loading into the microcontroller and hit on OK. Now you just have to uh, build your project one more time and as you can see here uh, zero error and zero warning and let's hit on load button and as you can see here now erasing is done and programming is done and I don't have a camera here to show you LED that is blinking with certain delay that's one second for this and uh, I hope you will find this video educational and entertaining and if you have found a problem while uh, programming your microcontroller then I will be making another video where I will be showing the difficulties if you have any if you don't have then it's just great cool I wish you a great time and see you in the next video bye bye